Hey guys, and thanks for clicking on the video. I'm Zimic playing some Mammal Swine in the top lane. Haven't done a video on him yet. He's a lot of fun. Uh, he can stun people f uh, for quite a while, actually. It can be very annoying if you have to play against him. All the tanks really super, uh, super beefy in this game, and it can be very difficult to to get them, especially if they bring potion like I did. But here's what you want to do: you want to you want a basic attack, then use a uh, then use an ice move. Okay, actually, I'm dying here, so I, I want to retreat. But you want to use an empowered auto. Then you want to use your ice move, uh, like the the one that you have, and it re gives you another empowered auto right away. And then after that, uh, you, you can empower auto them again, and you just get a bunch of freezes off. This is actually pretty bad, because I don't have any range, aside from ice shard, which doesn't do a whole lot of damage, and I was kind of left to lane alone at the beginning. Dang. Missed the tackle. Whatever. I have to back off here. Uh, birds spawn in now. Okay. Nice. Able to confirm quite a few of those. I should have uh, basic attacked first. Oof. That's going to be rough. Uh, we are going a very bulky build here. I think it, we're taking a weakness policy. We're taking... Um, buddy barrier and we're also taking i think i want muscle band i'm pretty sure i took muscle band not focus band muscle band so we should be able to do some nice damage but also be pretty bulky nice hybrid we did not take attack weight a lot of swine nubs do because tackle lets you uh get the berries afterward that's not my play style but let's see how much cc that was that was oh i took icicle crash i was going to take uh, ice fang oh well we can do icicle crash and um High horsepower. That's fine. Both sets are pretty good. I have sickle crash. And then you, like, rush yourself through it. But yeah, you need to be beware the amount of damage that this Pokemon can put out. It's more than a lot of people can ex expect. Especially if you, have, if you have weakness policy like I do. And you get hit a lot. Those stacks just start going up. Alright. There's high horsepower. Um, oh, I missed. Now yeah, we're not going to be able to get him. Cool. Nice job on the Pikachu's part. Altaria, please let me bank. Ooh, too slow, Ivysaur. And now we can CC him some. CC. Cool. Nice. My job there was to uh, keep him off of the Pikachu, and I did it. So, Mamoswine's kind of odd because he's a tank, and usually tanks give the XP to the laner, but Mamoswine needs a lot of XP in order to be good for the final fight. Otherwise, he just dies extremely quickly. We will have to see how much we can contribute. We're doing a good job of farming right now. Um, because we have a Pikachu as a laner who wasn't even there at the beginning. We've gotten a lot of farm. Nine this early in lane is pretty good. Thank goodness the um, Sludge Bomb had already worn off. Otherwise that would have done an absurd amount of damage. I'm just going to potion that. Uh, yeah, okay. It's a long, long way to bossing, say. And I waddle. Gonna grab this Altairy real quick, like. We don't really want them to bank up top. There's gonna be an more Regieleckis. But look at the, that CC. And he's gone. Yep, shouldn't have turned around. Don't know what to tell you. We're not going to be able to bank. And we have one uh, movement one movement skill. And we don't have good base movement either. So we have to be very careful how we use the movement skill and, how, um, and, and when we go in. I guess our Unite move also gives us movement. So two movement skills. 
Oof, that is rough for him. Glad I'm not him. There's that. And see if we can cut him off. All right, we're going to ult here. Make sure we can bank. The Pikachu banked instead of us. Oof, this is not good. Oh, wait, that's our scissor. Never mind. It's a lot better than I thought it was. Yeah, he's gone. Save the scissor. No, the wild Pokemon got the scissor. Yeah, they're not going to be able to... They weren't going to be able to KO me there. They made a good call. Because Pikachu... What would have happened is they would have started wailing on me. I wouldn't have died. And the Pikachu would have turned and started hitting him as well as me hitting him the entire time. And he would have died. Okay, we have our own Machamp. That's something that... Ugh, Decidueye, man. Just Decidueye things. Three of them are going to be able to take me down, especially when one of them's a Decidueye that I can't even get close to. That was that was nasty. That was pretty nasty. They had um, the Mod Champ having sat on me inside the grass. And then two ranged attackers. With a wall in between me and them. That's where like something like an eject button would have come in handy. You can just eject on top of them. I just potion because it's a lot of uh, a lot of extra bulk. Whoops, that was the wrong one. Wrong move. Did he just eject my auto attack? Okay. We don't really want him to get away here. Why is he immune to my uh, empowered auto? Like that, he doesn't have any. He shouldn't have any immunity to empowered autos. To CC, Did he jump. I, I think he jumped. Alright, I keep on thinking Icicle Crash is ZR, and it's just R. This is going to be a tough one. We're going to have to take Rayquaza for sure. But I think we have the resources to do it. I think if they allow me to wade in first, oh, especially with that Venusaur pick, as long as they allow me to frontline, we should be able to get this win. Okay, hey, there's the Decidueye. Oh, that was the wrong direction. All right, we're taking, we have three of them locked down here. Unfortunately, the Decidueye got away from me. And I think he actually ended up getting, oh man, if I lose here, it's gonna be so sad. I gave them this win on a silver platter, and we might still lose. I literally killed all of them except for one. Maybe, no, except for two. I don't think I killed the Decidueye. Oh, this is going to be so sad. And then, like, they were able to respawn in time because of the Rayquaza shield. It took me forever to kill that Charizard. I'm sorry, we might, like, we get one more push, and it's going to be even harder because it's going to be at their goal area. Although, our mod champ just scored. We might win, actually. Okay. I really don't want their, them to, like, cheese a goal here when we might be in the lead. Okay, there's their Venusaur. I wish I had orbs. Not exactly what I meant when I said I wish I had orbs. I wasn't meaning to kill my Zorark. There's an extra 10. If we win by 10, I'm a hero. Five, four, three, two, 
We'll see. This is going to be close. Oh, no. They broke an extra one. I thought that Mod Champ broke this one up there. No, we can't win. It's not going to happen, I don't think. All right. Let's see what the score ended up being. Is That was a really good Mammo Swine game. I gave them that Rayquaza win on a silver platter, and they couldn't kill two Pokemon between the four of them. Yeah. Did the most damage with a Scizor on my team, with a Zorark on my team. That was just so scuffed. But that's all right. It was a really close game, all things considered. If you liked the video, uh, make sure to leave a like. And if I want, I really want to see these comments of how you guys play Mammoth Swine. Any like extra tricks that you use? Uh, what move sets you use? Do you like use uh, all the ones on the left, all the ones on the right? A mix of the two. Um, but also, please, please, please subscribe to the channel. That helps the channel grow so much. Just getting started. Really would love to see it flourish. But. Thank you so much for making it this far into the video. I will see you guys next time. Bye.